A century of engineering has been deliberately discarded for profit. This 1908 Crescent catalog proves why the best version of your bandsaw was built over 100 years ago. We're opening this time capsule to uncover the lost philosophy that built tools that last not just for decades, but centuries, and to understand why they are still the best tools available today. We begin with the manufacturer's philosophy, which they call cold facts. There is no slick marketing here. They state they were building high-grade machines at a moderate cost, and they boast that their designs were already being copied by other manufacturers. Their entire factory was devoted only to making woodworking machinery. They didn't diversify. They focused on achieving perfection through quality. The proof of this dedication is in the design. Consider their massive 38-inch industrial bandsaw with its sheer, beautiful mass of the cast iron frame, cored out hollow throughout for maximum rigidity. They engineered solutions for durability, including a patented spring tension mechanism to catch the blade if it broke. This was a commitment to infrastructure, a machine designed to be a permanent piece of a generational business. This commitment to superior engineering wasn't limited to the factory floor. As we examine the jointers, shapers, and table saws, the consistent emphasis is on robust design and longevity. The tables are heavy, the frames are dense, and the alignment components are made of simple, durable bronze. They built complexity that was still simple enough to be fixed and maintained forever. While most tools in this catalog were belt powered, some of their bandsaws were offered with options for combined foot and belt power. Imagine, a full-sized industrial saw that a craftsman could run using nothing but a foot treadle. It's a testament to providing solutions for every small shop, regardless of whether they had access to electricity. Flipping through this 1908 Crescent catalog is a lesson in sustainable, superior engineering. What piece of design was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and if you want to learn more about these industrial secrets, please consider subscribing. We have plenty more catalogs to uncover.